This is the Kit Atom, a $60 keyboard built fully out of Legos, and this is what it sounds like. The keyboard is a 60% gasket mounted hot swap board. The kit is very well packaged and includes all the required pieces, a nice little Minecraft skeleton, some plate mounted stabilizers or stabby with some lube which was a nice touch, and they felt decent for what they are. The kit provides a red coiled cable, which I didn't really like, a nice and thick plate foam, and also foam gaskets. The plate included was a very flexy palm plate. The instruction manual was very informative and easy to understand and provided everything you need to know to assemble the keyboard. The assembly was very fun and easy without any major issues. My only complaint is the lack of rubber feet, which allows the keyboard to slide quite a bit on your desk, which could get a little bit annoying. The gasket performance, on the other hand, was surprisingly good with a subtle bounce to it and a nice, comfortable typing experience. The PCB has south-facing RGB, so there will be no keycap interference with Cherry Profile or GMK. But the layout of the keyboard is quite strange, and not all of my keycap sets had the necessary shift caps to fill out this board. For switches, I wanted to try out some glorious panda switches. Tactile switches and Legos just seemed to make sense to me, and I really enjoyed typing on them. For keycaps, I used some nice PBT Cerulea keycaps. The keycaps just hit that 2000s PlayStation 2 LEGO Star Wars vibes for me, and I think they were a good match. And this is how the keyboard sounds stock. So the keyboard sounds pretty interesting, it does have a similar ring to it as an actual LEGO building sound, but the keyboard was a little too thin sounding for me. So I wanted to try tape modding it with just like one or two layers to see if it adds a little bit more depth to the sound. I also wanted to try out this black and white MT3 profile set that I had from drop.com to try and add some more deepness to the whole sound. But the keycap set did not have the proper shift size though, so I just had to use a plus key from the numpad. <laughs> what the hell? For switches, I decided to try out some Aqua Kings that I used previously in my GMMK Pro. Overall, the keyboard sounded a lot more pleasing to me, if a little bit less fun than before. In the end, I would probably settle for tactile switches and a cherry profile set, but keep the tape mod. In conclusion, the Kit Atom is a solid board, especially for being a fully LEGO board. The keyboard would make a great addition to anyone's collection, or could be a very fun and unique gift for someone. A full kit with switches and keycaps is also available for $100 if that is something that you'd be interested in. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'm very broke. I will have reviews on more boards very soon, so stay tuned. Ah!